So, excuse the get up and the hair or lack of. <laughs> so, where have I been? What have I been doing? This channel for me was something for me to get into film photography or photography in general really and have a bit of an outlet where I could share my experiences, my stories and yeah something for me to uh, look back on. What I wasn't expecting was kind of for uh, people to watch it and for the negative comments and also I actually find myself more, um, what would you call it, I actually find myself consuming a lot more content than I probably should and it has a detrimental effect because you're never satisfied with what you do, um, people seem to be doing better than you um, and yeah you generally think that what is the point in doing photography, what is the point in making these YouTube videos, no one's going to watch and you forget the real reason why you do these things. As I've said before, these videos aren't scripted, they're off the cuff, very raw um, and yeah it's basically take me as you find me and that that is always what I kind of um, I kind of prided myself on. I've never really gone with the grain, I've always done things that I've wanted to do, um, be that right or be that wrong. I have always been, I guess, especially in the gym, um, a bit of a lone wolf. Um, sometimes I know that that is a bad thing because no man is an island and you need help. Um, and obviously you need to admit to yourself that you need help like say these YouTube videos I know absolutely nothing about video I know nothing about audio and it's been a bit of a learning curve I've never edited a video before doing these YouTube videos and so even that has been a bit of a learning curve but getting back to some of the reasons why I started and uh, I've had to, I don't know, have a bit of a soul search I guess and I've realised that even though things were done for me um, and I was enjoying kind of like what I was doing, I did get sucked into the numbers and watching people's reactions and, and getting when I got positive comments on videos and stuff it, it kind of like uplifted me and you know obviously I'm not going to deny it I felt great and I wasn't even looking but I noticed the other day that my video on my um, printer has had over 8,000 views and that's just bonkers um, I'm not one again really that like that goes after likes and people to love me and what you know like like me and stuff um, that has never been an issue for me um, as I say being a bit of a lone wolf it's um, something that I've grown to be accustomed to but doing these videos actually has been a bit of a cathartic exercise and that has been they've kind of helped me um, come to terms with being with people I guess. Um, I've always, as I say, used to being on my own and um, being an only child I guess. Um, excuse me, sorry. Um, being an only child I guess I've never really been bothered about being on my own and having lots of time in my own company. Um, being a graphic designer too and also getting into photography, spending time on the computer for hours um, as, as you know, it has never been an issue because I haven't had anyone to worry about. Um, when I had the relationship with Sarah, that kind of changed things a lot. Um, I was more concerned with helping her out and doing stuff with her. 
um, and so my photography took a bit of a back seat. Um, and I don't know, it, it wasn't just her, it kind of like took a bit of a back seat before that to be honest. I got a bit, I was in the, the photographing of the model scene doing lots of like fashion and beauty work and stuff and I got a bit kind of like burnt out with all the bitching and backstabbing and, and the petty mindedness of uh, amateur photographers in this country. Um, yeah, if you go onto Facebook and just look at some of the things, it's just, it's just mental what people say and do and how cruel they can be. Um, and that sort of thing just doesn't interest me. I just want to get on with my work and just enjoy myself. So, yeah, that brings me back to uh, just recently. So, again, for those that do actually watch this video and, and are actually interested in what I do, um, I've had a little bit of time out and I'm having to, not having to, but I'm, I'm learning a bit more about self-discovery and uh, really about finding myself again. And so um, one of the videos I put up was uh, the Retro Festival, um, which was a, a vintage car and retro uh, event I went to. And anyone that follows me on uh, Instagram, which is uh, analog.rich, uh, will know that just recently I've been posting quite a lot of pictures of cars. And this isn't intentional, but um, I find that because I've had a bit of a lull and a bit of a, a kind of like depressing time with photography just lately, when you find something that interests you and um, these car events, I love. I love old classic cars and old classic cameras as you know. Um, I had a, an interest in uh, doing it again so I kind of like wanted to latch on to that passion and uh, and follow it and see where it took me and so just recently I've been to a few car shows, I've been down in uh, Maidenhead so I went to a, a car show there and also uh, took a stroll around the, um, the river so uh, then I went to uh, another car event, well actually the 1940s weekend again, um, which is in Woodall Spa, which is absolutely fantastic, I really enjoyed myself. Um, I actually went on my own this time and I met a few people, so that was really cool. met a few photographers there and uh, got some new friendships. Um, but also, yeah, I kind of like, the, another thing is I need to do things to get me out of the fear that I seem to be struggling with again. So yeah, I went to another one last weekend which was locally at Clumber Park um, which is again 700 odd cars apparently and thousands of people there. Crowds really do my head in but uh, and the weather, oh the weather is just mentally, it's just so hot and I really don't cope well with hot weather so yeah, um, if I could afford it and was a bit braver, I guess, I would love to move to Iceland <laughs> or Greenland or Alaska. <laughs> but anyway, so following on with this theme, this weekend, tomorrow actually, I am going to something called Bug Jam, which um, here in the UK is something that I went to God, 27 years ago. <laughs> It's a uh, Volkswagen Beetle and a uh, van and it's uh, a drag strip called Santa Pod Raceway and yeah so um, it came up on uh, Facebook on the, the um, I don't know what you call it, like the page where you see what things are happening um, so yeah I'm, I'm uh, gonna head down there and uh, relive a bit of my youth <laughs> Um, which should be great actually because it's again it's a car event but I want to get back to me and to find my passion and uh, the enjoyment for taking photos so and what I plan on doing is I'm going to vlog it actually um, and I'm going to try and um, vlog in public and this is going to be a big thing for me but I think sod it what does it matter these people don't know me um, if they find me on YouTube or whatever then fair enough they get to see their cars and maybe they jump in my camera <laughs> but anyway yeah so um, one thing 
and I'll put a link in this video, well actually some footage, I invested in something, um, I don't know if I have it here, as usual can't find what you're looking for. So one of the things that I need to invest in is either um, separate audio or trying to fix the audio on this camera. So I invested in this thing which is a product by a company called Skinny. Um, it's a wind muff for the G7X Mark II to hopefully cut down on the ambient noise. But with the speakers being on top and the um, screen flipping up, this thing sits in the way and you can't see yourself. So, <laughs> you know, having a screen to see yourself and then having this thing in the way, it doesn't help making videos, but it's a workaround for now um, until I find something better. So yeah, just a bit of a rant, a bit of a, well not a rant, but a bit of a kind of update on me and uh, what I'm up to. Um, I'm still here. I've got plenty of footage from the various car shows that I've been to, which I'm going to make into videos. Um, also, my good friend Lee has lent me a lens which I want to test out, which is the um, Canon. So yeah, it's the uh, Canon 100mm Macro 2.8 IS. I've uh, had a day yesterday uh, doing some photos with this and man the depth of field is just mental but yeah so I'll have a, I'll have a go and see what we do um, yeah so the other thing that I wanted to mention is I've done a lot of digital just recently and I know this channel is called My Analog Life and that's more of a metaphor for me being a bit old fashioned and a bit uh, backwards <laughs> even though a graphic designer and I've got 27 inch IMAX and um, yeah whatever but yeah so um, I don't actually see a problem with that because photography is photography whether it's on digital whether it's on an iPhone whether it's on a film camera um, whatever you know floats your boat and, and helps with your passion then I'm all for um, tomorrow I'm gonna do the same but I am also I loaded up um, my Nikon FM2 with some uh, Fuji Acros 100 and never actually finished shooting it when I was at the uh, 1940s weekend. So I'm going to actually load that up and, well, I didn't say load it up, <laughs> it's already loaded. Duh. Uh, so I'm going to take it with me and uh, shoot that, 36 uh, frames with that. Um, and yeah, just take my digital, take a few lenses and just not stress about the day just go and enjoy myself you know bring back some childhood memories and uh, you know, I'll take the vlog camera and hopefully uh, get some footage of the drag cars and uh, some of the show and shine and everything um, but yeah and then on Sunday I don't know uh, my 100% plans yet but I'm thinking about going to uh, a local aviation museum um, in a place called Newark um, which I can really get to test the uh, the hundred mil macro then, um, so yeah, fingers crossed that should be good. But anyway, yeah, I'm still around, still doing the bits and pieces. Again, I am a bit more proactive on uh, Instagram, so if anyone wants to follow me on that, it's uh, analog dot rich, um, and yeah, I post a, a lot more on there. So uh, if you miss me on here, then you'll probably see me on there a bit more. But yeah, I've got quite a few videos to catch up on, about five or six really um, and yeah um, I've got some other things that I need to do and I'm going to show you basically at the moment I've got myself into a bit of a mess my room is just full of stuff somebody else um, told me about someone getting rid of some dark room equipment so uh, yeah I got another enlarger and tanks and a whole heap of stuff which hopefully will come in handy when I eventually uh, get something sorted out um, but yeah for now I'm gonna head off to the gym get de-stressed um, get back edit this video put it online and then look forward to uh, bug jam 32 tomorrow um, and then hopefully get back on it and uh, get some more videos and get back into the swing of things which is about time 
But anyway, if anyone is actually watching this, thank you for taking the time to watch it. I know it's been a bit of a long, boring 15 minutes <laughs> of me waffling on, but uh, yeah. If you've got any tips or help and advice on uh, how to get through things like fear and anxiety and depression and whatever, then I'd really love to hear that. I Hopefully I'm coming out the other side of a bit of a lull, um, but yeah been a bit of tough times but we'll get there got to stay positive got to stay motivated and uh, onwards and upwards thanks for watching see you soon